Prepare to see the world through a new lens as we delve into 20 mind-altering facts about the false education system in this thought-provoking video with Alan Watts. Because they're not interested in what you as a man do, and when you come back from the various rat races in which you are engaged making money, you're supposed to be a good pal to the children, play with them, look after your wife, and appreciate what she's done all during the day. The difficulty is that the family as an institution is not surviving in industrial culture. It is an institution designed for an agrarian culture. Knowing how to make the most complex joinery constructions without even using a blueprint, doing it by feel and by eye. The child gets through school, goes through high school, and the child gets out is not interested in carpentry. It's interested in girls, has to fool around with that for a while and then get married, and then begin to learn the carpenter's trade and it's too late. The man in the family has to go away and earn a living that has absolutely no relation to his living relationship with his wife and his children. Every little child wants to join in his parents' work. They go into the kitchen. They would much rather play with the pots and pans than anything else. Instead of being allowed to join in with the real work of their parents, they are given propitiatory objects called toys. They are not real and the child knows they're not real, and so as the whole educational process continues, they are educated for unreality. There's a thing coming, go to college, made it that far, and step by step you go on and you get to graduate school. Finally, you work along with this. You're earnest, and about the year 45, you end up with vice president of the company. Say, I've arrived, I'm there. I feel vaguely cheated because I feel just the same as I always felt. I'm there, but I haven't caught up with that thing I was always promised. Real education is an entirely different thing. An education in the real sense is not preparation for life. It is actually living. The point of the process in which the child is engaged is not to prepare the child for the future, but to enjoy doing the thing today. If you are not capable of living in the present, plans are useless because when those plans come to fruition, you will be incapable of enjoying that fruition. The absolute point of any educational system that has any worth whatsoever is the progressive allowing of children to participate in activities that adults consider real and important. Supposing you are making money in a factory, producing something worthless in traffic, but it pays, and you justify this on the grounds that it will give you money to bring up your children to do something better than you are doing, you are fooling yourself. The con is your child will copy you. If you are doing something in life, you have a vocation, a work which you're doing, which you are really interested in and which you thoroughly enjoy, and it's this that you live for and not for your children, then your children will catch your enthusiasm.
You should not live for the good of your children. You should live for your own good. Then your children will learn from your example how to live.